Hello everybody, Wax here, and welcome to my first episode, or like, I don't know if it's gonna be a main series, but welcome to the first episode of Pokemon Showdown Battles, where I make a team, I do around three battles with it, and then I make another team, so, and we try to get some wins. Uh, oh, that's another team, so, where is it, where is it, here it is. So, this team is, I'm gonna go over it real quick, so, it's Rock, Paper, the Scissor, <laughs> get it, okay, with the uh, Leftovers Technician. Bug bite, roost, sword dance, and bullet punch, and this is our physical wall. Yeah, so it's like a hard hitting offensive wall. And that's that. Then we have Leonardo or Mega, Mega Blastoise with the Blastoise now and a Mega Blastoise now. It's okay. Blastoise Knight and a Mega Launcher ability with Rapid Spin, Water Pulse, Aura Sphere, and Ice Beam. And this is our uh, mixed tank and a bit offensive. Of I can't talk, Jesus, and a bit offensive. So, you can see it's max HP and, you know, some uh, bulk around there and then max special attack to hit hard. Then we do have Itsy Bitsy with the Focus Sash, Galvantula Compound Eyes with Sticky Web, Bug Buzz, Thunder, and Volt Switch. Uh, I like to go with Volt Switch and Energy Ball. Depends on the situation, really. I'm just going to go Volt Switch for this episode. I might do Energy Ball next episode, if I remember, obviously. Then we have, oh yeah, and this is also so a stick web team, so if we go over to speed, 65, 78, 108, well, we don't really need it for that, 85, then a base 100, and 60. So this team really likes some speed. So then we do have Nido King, and Nido King really benefits of the speed, uh, of the stick webs, because this is modest, life orb, sheer force, so it hits really hard, but... It doesn't outspeed quite everything, but with the sticky webs, it really started outspeeding a lot of things. And then we have all this coverage, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, which all get boosted by a Life Orb and Sheer Force. And we hit so many types with this, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, for super effective damage. And this is our special sweep rain. This was just our Pokemon setup, really. If you saw my uh, battle, what is it? Um... Competitive building guide, these are the names I gave them as well, so it's like a physical sweeper, special sweeper, tank, all-around Pokemon, so watch that video if you're interested. Then, so Staraptor, this is all or physical, our physical sweeper, with a choice scarf and adamant nature, so, uh, max, not max speed, 252 EVs in speed, with these, uh, webs up and a scarf, we had speed quite some things, well, this is our faster member, so, I mean, we're kind of supposed to. Then, Adamant 252 with Brave Bird, Facade, in case we get burned or something. And this is our last Pokemon, then help me out, like, in some cases. Then, U-Turn, just get out of there. Close combat as well for coverage. And then, Digiduck, or Special Defensive Tank, but actually also really works as a physical tank. Uh, 252 in HP, 1... 128 and special attack and 128 and special D. Then, with your calm nature. Toxic, recover, tri attack, charge beam, evil light, and, well, obviously evil light, and download. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to got over that. That was three minutes already, but okay. So we're going to try to do some battles, and I can't do it. Wait, because this thing is in the way. Okay. You can see that, or maybe you could, I don't know. So we're going to look for a battle. This is actually my UU team, but because Scissor is an OU, yeah, we have to go OU. So, we're going to see a uh, Clef Key. <laughs> Funny. Oh my god, I did it three times. I'm so good. Okay, Save Alive, Reloom, Talonflame, Star Me, and, or Star You. <laughs> okay, let me stop. And Hippodon. So... Yeah, I kind of want to leave it to Bitsy because that's really the plan of this team here. To set up sticky webs and then just go. But we do see that Sableye has the magic... Uh, Mega Sableye has the magic balance. And since he's the only Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, we're kind of screwed. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm just going to Bug Buzz, yeah. So we're most likely going to see the Mega here. So I'm just going to Bug Buzz away. Bug Buzz away. Let's start the timer as well here. So there's the Mega. A Will-O-Wisp to break. 
Oh, pardon me. To break my sash. Which sucks really bad. So I'm just gonna Volt Switch up out of here. Uh, cause... Well, I wanna get my, uh, webs up later. So, what's the best thing for this? Uh, he has will o -Wisp, so definitely not rock, paper here. Rock, paper, scissor. Hmm. And I don't want to, like, unnecessary go into Zephyr and take advantage of the facade or facade or whatever. So, let's go into the Jirak. Yeah, we can eat up anything he throws us. If he will always possess, so be it. He does go for the recover, which, well, sucks. Uh, I can't toxic it because of magic bounce out. So. And I can try attack it as well. Wow. All I can do is set up on it with charge beam. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Really? I was gonna knock over Eevee Light. That's huge. Okay. So this is like a mixed uh, Sable, I guess. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, so I had to pause there. Sorry for that. But he toxic us, actually. Which is even worse. So it adds dual status Sable. Eye. Well, Jiminy Cricket. That sucks. Um, let me charge beam right now. That's all I can do, really. So, I'm gonna have to... Oh, God. No, don't do this. That's really bad, guys. So, is uh, Moose as well as recover, knockoff, and toxic. Wow. Uh, this is really bad. That's all I know. Uh, I think, I think. I want to go into Leonardo here. I don't want to take more toxic damage. He's going to knock off it. You can't knock off my uh, Mega Stone. He did predict a switch, though. But not the right one, brother. I mean, his only offensive move is knock off, so. I'm just gonna Mega and Water Pulse here. Hope to get some Confusion Hacks. That will really help us out. We don't, and we do get Toxic, but we have, well, I mean, we have to. Because the Sable Eye really walls everything. Well, I mean, oh, we do get a Godly Crit right there, which is awesome. So that will speed up the battle a bit, I guess. We do have... Two Pokemon Toxic and one Pokemon Burns, which is really unfortunate. It really is. It really is. It really is. Um. All right, so we're gonna see the Breloom here, which is well a respective play. He might want to protect predicting the switch with a Toxic Orb shenanigan right there. Uh, but I see, I feel like this is a good opportunity to get our webs up again. Wait, we didn't, we didn't get them up yet. He's gonna bullet seed. That's bad. Okay, okay. Mock punch might kill us on this range. Shit. I really want to get my webs up though. I really, really do. So let's return to scissor. Because the mock punch is so obvious, come on. Oh my god. Should have known, should have known. But okay, okay. I'm going to sword dance as well. So this is going to be a technician one. Not a, uh, as you can see with the rock doom and all that. So that there's the sword dance. I could roost here. I'm just going to bug bite. Let's see. There's the mock punch. Okay, so... Oh, it's Focus Ash as well, but we also have Bullet Punch, but it doesn't matter because he has speeds with Mock Punch if he goes through it, which he does. So we're dead. Um, somebody's going to have to eat a Mock Punch. Somebody is going to have to. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I guess Leonardo would be the best Pokemon to do so. So let's go for water balls in case he switches out. Because it is our strongest move. There's the mock punch. We do live it, fortunately. 
And we do get rid of the Breloom as Leonardo hangs on on 5%. As he does hang on a 5%. So, coming out, most likely, Glef yeah, I don't know. I was thinking Talonflame so you could Sword Sense and then die by the poison, I guess. And then we die by the poison, pardon me. I might want to set up spikes, I don't know. Or do something of that kind. I mean, there's a lot of different Glefty, so. I'm just going to Water Pulse. There's the spikes. I sh maybe I should have Rapid Spin. I was thinking about it, but I didn't do it. So now we can finally get our webs up. Oh my goodness. I could go for damage as well. I don't know, I feel like it's not gonna matter because it's not gonna kill anyway. And we can kill it with some with something else easier. Okay, but it's gonna go for a second layer of spikes. I'm just gonna thunder this turn. Because I'm not going to Volt Switch because we're going to die of Entry Hazards anyway. And Thunder is going to kill, actually. But we did lose a Rapid Spinner, which sucked. Um, what is the best thing to do right now? Let's go into Digiduck here. Because, I mean, it's bulky. Alright, he's going to go into Hippodon. Alright, getting a Toxic of this thing would be really nice. That would be really nice. So, uh, I'm also only going to do one battle per episode, because, you know, I don't know. I just feel like that's the best thing to do. Oh, we're going to miss our Toxic, that's bad. It's going to roar us out, oh my goodness. We can't just kill this thing with the Ice Beam right now, I mean, oh, we, we don't. That's just fantastic, guys. Fantastic. I love it. I'm happy. Alright, so... Sludge Wave is going to kill us anyway. Kill it anyway, so... That would be the best play if he switches out, which he doesn't. Let's see. If he goes into Storming, we might outspeed it because of the webs. But I feel like he's just going to go and style flame the rest of my team. I was going to go into Starmie actually. Okay. I feel like we have to beat this with the webs. We do. Thanks to these webs. Oh my god. No focus size as well. So his last Pokemon is style flame. But I feel like he's going to be able to clean up to be honest. Yeah there's the Galwing's Brave Bird. Was going to Digiduck here. That was stupid, 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 stupid. Should have gone. Th well, I don't know. All right, so it all comes down if we live this, and we most likely will not. So it's the two birds against each other right here. Let's see. But <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna kill us. But that was a good game, a close game as well. Uh, I feel like I didn't make it any mess mess plays. Maybe like with the rapid spin and stuff that would have helped us a lot. But uh, it was a really good battle. So if you guys enjoyed, just make sure to thumbs up if you enjoyed these series. Tell me in the comments below. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. I'm out.